Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to show you how to build out an entire automation using make.com, which will process data from an Airtable, run it through ChatGPT, create AI faceless videos using JSON, JSON to video, update the Airtable, get the file, and upload it to Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever you want. You can add as many social media channels here as you want to. So I just put this together for my own social media channels in about an hour. And in this video, I wanna show you step-by-step step how to build one of these out for yourself. So to get started, you're going to want to create your free account on JSON to video. This is the, the module that I'm using to generate the AI faceless videos. And so in order to do that, you will just create your free API key on the website. And once you enter your email address, they'll send you the API key and you can connect it up in make.com. But we'll get to that later. Firstly, we want to create an Airtable. And I already have one created here. In order to create a new one, you'll just go to projects. And then from here, you can create a, uh, a new table uh, up here, right? So you'll just create a new project, new table. And once you have that table, you can add all of your data, your topic ideas here. You're going to want to give it a title, topic, language, voice, status, and video URL, which we'll be using to generate the AI faceless videos in a later step. So as you can see, I've already created a few. And I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So if I just click on this link, you can see this is the video that I've generated using the uh, JSON to video tool. So once you've got uh, Airtable connected with your API key, you can come down to base, enter your project title. So that would be over here. This is your project right here. Mine's just called social media poster. And here's all of the output fields, which you've entered into Airtable. You're going to want to here for formula, put status equals to do, because that's what we have over here. So anything that you want to uh, create, you will just put it under the to-do status and it will go through and create videos for each of those. And then once they're done, you can just change the change the status to done, for example. So that's pretty much all there is to it for creating the Airtable module. That's for search records. The next one is going to be update a record. So in order to create a new module, you're just going to come to here and then you can add a module, right? So you'll add Airtable, and then update a record, as I've already done over here. So update a record. This one, you're going to choose the same base table, and then you will use the ID from the previous step. So all you have to do is drag that into the record ID, and it will put the ID from the previous step to search records. And pretty much everything else you don't need to worry about. Don't make sure to leave smart links disabled. And that's all there is to it for this step. Next one, you're going to create another module, and this will be OpenAI. So just select OpenAI, and from here you can select the method create a chat completion, and this is the text content that we're going to want to enter right here. You're going to want to make sure to add language from the previous step. So that's coming from Airtable. This is your language. This is your voice that you're using. Um, you can also find the voices under JSON to video. They have a section on voices as well. So if you want to find the specific voice to use, you can come down to AI voices. You can select between either the free ones or the 11 labs voices, which consume more credits. So basically on the free plan, you get about 600 credits to start. And then after you've blown through your credits, you can upgrade to the paid plan. I think it's like $50 a month. So quite affordable, especially if you're making these videos regularly, it's probably worth upgrading to the paid plan. So you could just copy that code and come on over here and enter it as the voice ID right there. So if you wanna go ahead and just grab this script, you can pause the video and uh, you can put that in. And then after that, pretty much you just have to give it the text content, which is creating the video from, or the prompt, I should say. And everything else you can pretty much keep as is. So that's pretty much all there is to it for that step. And then next, 
you're going to want to create another module. So once again, all you have to do is click on your module here and then type in JSON to video right here. And then you can select the specific tool that you want to use. So in this case, we're going to be using the uh, toolbox module. And from here, we can easily set the resolution size. I actually had to scale mine down a little bit because there's a limit to the file size that you can get from the HTTP request. So I just basically, the default is uh, 1080 by 9, 1920, but I scaled it down to 720 by 1280 just to make the file size smaller because I'm still on the free plan of make.com. So it's, it's capped at about five megabytes and you can't download anything above that unless you upgrade to the paid plan. So I don't really want to upgrade right now. I just decided to scale down the resolution. And then from here, you can select the tool. This is the tool for generating the videos that's built into JSON to video. And so far, this is the only module that I've found built into make.com, which will create AI generated faceless videos. So I just decided to use this one. And like I say, it's completely free to start. You get up to 600 credits. I've chosen uh, social media real advanced. And from here, you can put in the result scene right here. So this is the, the scene that we got from the previous step. And then you can use the voice model, choose your voice model. It could be 11 labs, which will consume slightly more credits. So I'm just sticking to the free Azure one, which as far as I know, only consumes zero credits. If you wanna check the credit consumption right here, you can come over here and then scroll down. You'll see that the Azure voiceover costs zero credits per minute. And if you use like Flux Pro or 11 Labs, it's going to cost you more credits. So I recommend just sticking to the, the free ones when you're getting started. And same goes for generating the images. I recommend Free Picks, Free Pick Classic. There's not really much of a difference between the two, so you might as well use the free one. And then for the voice, you simply come over here and you select from the previous step. This is the voice uh, ID that we put into uh, in Airtable. And then you can select the image aspect ratio. Obviously, if you're going to be posting a reel or a YouTube short, then it would have to be vertical. That's the way it always is for the reels or shorts. And then image model. Again, if you want to get a slightly better image generator, you can use Flux Pro. But... When you're just getting started, I recommend uh, Free Pick Classic, which is free to use. And then you can obviously add subtitles or no subtitles. I recommend adding subtitles uh, because it increases engagement on the video. So that's pretty much all there is to it for this step. That's pretty straightforward. And then after that step, you're going to want to add another module for JSON to video. This time, wait for a movie to render. And then from here, you will drag in the product ID that you got from the previous step. And then you feed that into the next module right here to actually create the movie based on uh, basically the parameters that you've set in, in this step for the toolbox. And this will take uh, you know anywhere from about a minute, a minute and a half. It doesn't take that long to create one of these videos. And I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later as well. Once again, you're going to create another module, this time also Airtable, but and you want to update a record. So you select your base and your table. You give it the uh, record ID from the previous steps. So you're going to want to find your ID from search records in the first step and just drag that in right here. And pretty much everything else you can keep the same. These are just the fields from your Airtable, but you don't need to update any of these, but you do need to add the video URL this one right here, which you will then pass to Facebook to uh, post to post the video reel. So you are just going to want to drag in the URL to the generated video from the previous step right here. And then it will enter the video URL into Airtable once it's finished processing the uh, video creation. That's pretty much all there is to it for that step. And then the next step, obviously, is you need to set up an HTTP request with the video URL from the previous step. So that's all there is to it for that step. And then here I basically set up a router and I can add as many different social media platforms as I want here. 
like let's say I want to add Instagram to this list, I can easily post to Instagram as well if I want to. So I'll put an in Instagram post. So if you want to post to Instagram, you can click on create a real post and then it, you can connect it up to Instagram as well easily. But I don't really use Instagram that much. So I'm just going to delete that one for now. I'll delete this one too and tidy it up a bit. So as you can see, I've got the router set up and then I'm posting to both my Facebook page and also to my YouTube channel. So this part's relatively straightforward. You just have to simply co connect up your Facebook page here and then you can select your page. So in this case, I'm posting to Be Remote Consulting, which is my Facebook page, and we're feeding it a data file from the previous step. So that's the data that we got from the HTTP request. You're just gonna wanna select get a file and then from here you can drag in your topic and your title from your Airtable, which is right here, title and topic. And that will just give it a nice description and a title for posting on the Facebook page. And then on YouTube, it's basically same, same, but different. I've connected up my YouTube channel here. I give it the title. I feed it the data from the video file that was created right here. And then we give it the category for YouTube. You have to select the category. So I've done that here. You can also choose to make it unlisted, private or public. I'm just going to make it public right away. And then you can add the description as well, which is just the topic. And I would recommend also turning on uh, altered altered synth synthetic media onto yes, because technically this is an AI generated video. So you might as well just tell YouTube that it's AI generated so you can turn that on and also say it's not made for kids as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how to design and uh, create the entire automation in make.com. Again, this is completely free. You will need to upgrade to the paid plan. They give you a certain quota per month. And now we're just going to run this, right? So I'm going to come back over to Airtable here, easily come over to ChatGPT here and say, you know, give me a few topic ideas for expats in Asia, for example, just as an example, right? So we're going to do that. And ChatGPT will come up with some topic ideas. Uh, I kind of like this one, top 10 most expat friendly cities in Asia. I would actually make that uh, top five because we only have a limited amount of uh, time for these for these videos. So I'm just going to say top, actually even top three would be better because the reels are only about 45 seconds long. So we're just going to put in top three there and we'll delete the video URL because it's going to be uh, outputting that for us. And we're also going to change, most importantly, the status to to do so that it will actually run on this one. You know, so I'm just going to click on run. And as you can see, it's going through. It's prompting ChatGPT right now, working on this step. Now it's gone that and now it's creating the video. And actually, while that's working, we can come over here. And as you can see, render log, it is creating the video right now using make.com. So it says running. And this is the latest video that it's creating right here. And as you can see, I've already created a, a number of different videos. This one's 30 seconds, 35 seconds, 37 seconds. And that's the rendering time as well. So it only takes about 60 to 70 seconds to create these videos. Right now it's posting to the Facebook page. So it just posted to the Facebook page and it also posted to the YouTube channel. Uh, so I can come over to render logs here and I can check the video that it just created. So if I click on play, it will play the video and this is what it looks like. So you get the idea. That's what the video looks like. And if you want to make the imagery a little bit better, then I would recommend using Flux instead of uh, just the free one. This is uh, the page for Be Remote Consulting. And as you will see, if I scroll down, there's the video. It's posted to my Facebook page automatically. Here's another one that I created earlier. And we can also take a look at uh, the YouTube as well. And there it is, top three most expat friendly cities in Asia. And I posted this one earlier as well. So that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you use make.com to automatically create AI faceless videos and post them to your social media profiles. Obviously, you can add as many of these as you want. I can add, you know, 
TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever platforms you want, simply by setting up, setting up this router. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. Peace from Thailand.